Malcolm? All right, well, Mother's Day is right around the corner, and if you're looking for something special, something particular for mom, then we have the event that you need to attend, the 32nd Annual Art Birmingham Festival. It's next weekend, and money raised will help fund the Birmingham Bloomfield Art Center, and we're here with Linda Ashley to find out more about this great event. We got a nice selection here, but this is just a small percentage of what you can expect to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. I just wanted to bring an overview of all the wonderful different kinds of art from artists across the country, about 150 of them. It's one of the first art, it is actually the first art fair of the season. Okay. And a great opportunity for Mother's Day, no question. And a lot of woodworking and for moms that like to cook, we have an right. actual cutting board here. Actual cutting board and what a great gift because we love our mitten from oh, Michigan, yes. you know, yeah. so that's something that's just terrific. Robert Koss does that. And moving along, we have some wonderful ceramic tiles by Marsha Hovland. She's really known across the country and she has this wonderful little art fairies and mm -hmm. insects and it's like a picture in a piece of uh, tile. Now is this uh, flower pot hers as well? Because this caught my eye. This is very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And that's comprised like it's a collage of different uh, ceramic pieces, little, little uh, tiles in and of themselves that make one big pot. Now, we were talking about the wood, of course, with the cutting board, but this bowl is absolutely exquisite. The, the texture and, and just to feel it, it feels phenomenal. It's wonderful, isn't it? And it's all about feeling it. It's all about the finish and the touch. And that's Stephen Wilson, and he's a wonderful uh, artist. You know, we have to realize that woodworking is an art as well. And um, a, here's another piece of woodworking that's more functional, arts and crafts. Sure. It's a clock. It moves. It's great. And that's by a different uh, wood artist in the area named uh, Ro uh, Robert Cox. So. And then the other ceramic pieces that you have here, I mean, you can actually display these are, as art, as they are, or it looks like you can actually use these if you, if you chose to. I think that's what's so great about ceramic art, is that it's something to dress up your table when you serve dinner, you talk art and, and eat at the same time. Nothing could be better, right? Not at all. <laughs> and speaking of art, I mean, this is what comes to mind when I think art, you know, stuff right. like uh, these glass sculptures here. Beautiful. John Fitzgerald is the artist. He was trained in Sweden and Denmark, which is the home of glass blowing, and he does beautiful work in our area, hand blown, hand painted, and what a statement it is. Uh, you know, it, it deserves a special place in your home to Certainly. show your love of art. Now, we were talking about art, and of course, there are paintings that are right. in the background here and collages. This is absolutely fantastic here, a great representation of Detroit. It's, tr it's great. Lucia Lucas is the artist. She's actually from Mexico, but moved here to Detroit. This is a collage. It's multimedia. It's every type of medium you can imagine is right there, and uh, you'll, you'll see... Um, uh, pieces of newspaper in the background, but they're all there for a purpose. And Eminem, of course, is there as well. So I love it. I love the color and I love the statement. Yeah, and it's hip and it's modern. And if you're looking for that special something that you can have in your home that you're not going to find because you didn't get it at Pier 1, nothing against Pier 1, <laughs> but if you're looking for something <laughs> right. very unique, this that's is the type it. of item that yeah. you're going to want to have. And it's so great. You can meet the artist, talk about the work. Maybe you'll commission something. Who knows? And Or you might find something right there. So it's a great a great day for lovers of art. And you mentioned functional when you spoke of the clock. Nice lamp there as isn't, well. Isn't that terrific? This is uh, also by Robert Koss and one of his best sellers, by the way, an arts and crafts adjustable lamp, by the way. Yeah. Only an artist <laughs> would think. He was telling me that, you know, it, you never know how the light hits the book when you're reading sure, in bed. Sure. So you can adjust that. And, and uh, then next to that is another piece of what a really large, you know, when you're having a big party. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Combining paint and wood, which you don't often see, but the statement is terrific. So there again, it's function and art all at one, and, and that's what Art Birmingham is really all about. And the smell of that wood, I mean, that's the first thing that got me. When you see this stuff, I mean, this is art in the truest sense, but you can also smell the wood, you can feel the texture. Right. It's right. absolutely beautiful stuff. Absolutely, and I, I love that you're talking about feeling it, because the artists want you to touch the work. They want you to meet them and touch their work and, and learn more in one day at the Art Birmingham. Well, Linda, thank you so much for joining us. And we, of course, have a lot more information on our website. That, of course, is WXYZ.com. Just click on the scene on 7th section.